I'm coming. All right, so we did some silent pictures last time, a little while ago. I got a little uh, one here that I want to do. try and keep from making these too big so it won't take up so much time uh, let's see here how we do that Not, no, I want to do that in yellow, but I don't know. I just can't get a bright yellow for some reason. Yeah, I'm playing around with my. I don't have any tattoos, but I've done tattoos for a lot of people. My dad had a lot of tattoos. Well, no, he really, really didn't. I mean, for the time he may have it back in the 50s, he had a couple tattoos on his leg. One on each arm up there by the big muscles. I never really care for tattoos, but you know, that's somebody wants tattoos, that's fine with me. Like I said, I've I've done some art for quite a few tattoos. Oh, this is not really my thing. I guess I tattoo cars though. Done a bunch of that. People have actually taken my designs from cars, put them on their arm, and then one guy put it on his back. That's their deal. I guess the person that does this kind of stuff, like me, can't really say anything about people that do tattoos. Because you know, everybody's got their thing, thing that they like to do, and there are people that judge you on what you do. I mean, you know, as long as it's not hurting anybody, you know, of course, I have people that are against that too. Eh, it's not hurting anybody, but anyway, I'm not gonna get into all that. So, uh, today is Monday. And I'm doing this for, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I kind of change my mind every day. I don't know what I want to do. I just want to have fun. Hey, let's do some, this is supposed to be like a um, raspberry. I don't think it's raspberry, but it's kind of like a raspberry. You know, like I said before, on these little things that I do here, these are just, Things that I like to do, you know, they're not perfect. See, like that there, that should be more pointy. So let's make it more pointy. I didn't get no, I didn't get any sharp point. Sharpies. I sent my daughter after some, but she brought back some heavy thick point which that's okay it's art man it's not supposed to have a certain but yeah if I was painting a picture of the blue bonnets around here in Texas they really need to look like blue bonnets but then again not really you look at it however you want as long as you kind of get the, the subject matter it looks similar to a blue bonnet but anyway All these are is uh, just geometric designs done with a little bit of style. I mean, we're not looking at a we're not looking at a stop sign here. Uh, it, it's just a, a take away from you know regular art, 
abstract arts. You know, this isn't really abstract here. This is, you know, geometric designs with a little bit of abstract and crazy stuff thrown in. I don't, I don't follow any guidelines. A person can do what they want to do. You know, this is that that every time you take a step, that's your world. Every time you do this, every time you do a sketch or brush stroke, it's your world, man. You just do whatever you want to do. Don't, don't you not do what I do. You know, I tell people, you know, I used to strike cars. Now that was a little different. They couldn't do it. So they trusted my judgment and that, that that's how that worked. It was like, well, they knew that I was gonna do something that you don't see on the road. They're, they knew I was going to do something to distinguish their car from everyone else, which is true. I mean, yeah, they, you know, most cars that were being pinstriped back then, I don't really know. I'm, I'm sure some people still do it, but for the most part, uh, they were just straight lines. And uh, they would call me and a few other stripers. Hey, we just don't want straight lines. We want something unique that sets our car apart from everyone else and they would just you know usually it was the colors that we would discuss not so much what i was going to do because most of the time i didn't know what i was going to do until i did it i mean yes i had a basic basic idea because i mean you know it's really hard to deviate from things that you've been doing for years i mean you, you would swing that old brush a certain way and, and do something different like this here, you know, like I, I screwed up right here, so I had to go over the yellow. I didn't want to go over the yellow, I wanted to go under. But, you know, to me, the imperfection in the art is part of the beauty. I mean, yeah, man, there are some pinstripers out there, and that's okay. They worry about all the little nuances, especially with pinstripers like me. Man, you know, you think with all them years, you'd be more perfect. Hey, I can be perfect. Or pretty close. I used to be. I can't anymore. Person would lay me a thousand bucks down on the table, and I could be perfect. But here's the thing: it, it, it's all psychological, subjective. But it's all psychological. One of the largest jobs I did in the last few years before I retired was a uh, what do they call those? Uh, it's a it's a F F three fifty. King Ranch, that's what it was. And the lady came to me up here where I live. And she said, uh, I said, what do you want to do? She, she, she told me over the phone she wanted something different. And she talked about some kind of infinity line. I had no clue what that, is, what that was. She said, it just kind of crosses over. You go down the side, and do some outline on the bottom, and outline, put something on the hood. And she gave me two grand. <laughs> On a normal day, I probably wouldn't have charged her seven or eight hundred bucks. And then somebody back into the tailgate and I give her five hundred dollars on the uh, insurance. So that kind of job is far and few between, but it kind of got to the point where that's what people would do. They would just trust my judgment and say, Well, hey, you're the pinstriper, you know, I want something wild or I don't. And and I would just do it and you know it's it's like i said the other day and i keep saying the other day which i don't know when it is so if i say the other day it could have been a month ago um they trust my judgment now there are certain times like um when i was doing a car that had graphics on it somebody painted some some pretty neat graphics and i have i would have to go in and outline all those graphics and what it did was separate the colors from the base from the main color of the car and like 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 these here see how these outlines separate the yellow then i might come back with something else and that separates the color from say this white and pink and the blue now normally i'd go with a dark color but i have had cars with oh man 10 different colors of graphics and i mean there are some jobs that took a long time to do well a long time to me was all day So those kind of jobs, there was a certain way you had to do it, but a lot of those jobs too had accent striping, like say if I was doing a low rider, you'd outline the graphics, 
you know, the panel designs, the designs that the painter or the custom painter put in. A lot of custom painters can't stripe. See, I messed up there. I didn't want to go with that yellow, but I'm, I'm going to. Uh, the custom painters, the guys did the graphics. You know, some of them can stripe. They can do the whole job from start to finish without hiring. You know, they're not hire a thin striper. And uh, some of those guys would uh, have to hire out guys like me to outline the graphics. And you have to do that because a lot of these uh, vehicles, you know, are show cars. And if you don't have your graphics outlined, say like Flame Job, so if you got a traditional flame job, say it's a black car, you know, you go from yellow to orange, maybe red tips or purple tips or whatever. Uh, those out, those flames have to be outlined on the outside edge. And what they did was they gave it a finished look, distinguished it from the from everything else. And of course, like I said here, it separates the colors from say the base color. You got a black car yellow and orange. If you go back and look at that flame I did the other day on here, you, you see how I outlined it. It gives it more character. And they would have to pay me to do that. And a lot of times they didn't know how to do flames, so they'd pay me to, to tape up the flames, then they would come in and shoot it. In other words, spray it. There were times when I had to do it. And I hated doing that, so I just tell them, hey man, it's going to be 500 bucks just to spray the just to spray the paint, but uh, that's what that is. Let's see here, man. You know, I've got to get, I've got to get. But, well, let's try this. Let's, let's do this. I like that there. This is really silver. It's amazing how it shows up on here. I'm amazed. This is just a little shadow. Shadows kind of give your art, like like this kind of art, a little bit of three dimensional three-dimensional look and you know it's a shadow everyone has their own way of shadow but you know what you want to do is which, which way is the light which way is the light shining say if the light's shining from here that's why I'm putting the shadow on this side and believe it or not I'll be doing this and I'll screw up and forget so anyway so yeah I just did a Today was Motivation Monday, which means, you know, it's all about cars. See that there? The thing started going that way, I don't know why. It's all about cars, and uh, I showed some... Uh, I was using my computer, my PC, where I have all my pictures stored. I was using that to show some pictures and stuff that I've done, you know, some concepts. And talk about it a little bit, you know, that's what I like. I like cars. I think you know that by now. I don't know what I did there. Oh well, like old Pop used to say, hey baby, it doesn't matter, just enjoy it. And if you see something in there, have it. Now, you notice I outline, I do this, I, I like this. This is, uh, this is kind of gives it the built, you know, it, it, it's something that secures the look of what's going on, even though I do that. Follows the pattern. Gives a little more character. You don't have to do it that way. I like doing it that way because it just, to me, it looks finished. I might do a little, might take another color and do some stuff in there. Let's see here, I got some purple. Not thick, but that's okay. Let's do this. And see, you can do anything you want. You don't have to just stick to something. You have to say, oh, I gotta do it that way. Nope. You don't have to do it just that way. You can do it any darn way you want. You know who I sound like? Mr. B.R. Bob Ross. Love that guy, man. Actually, when I watched his paintings, it made me nervous because he was so good at it. Now, see this purple? I wants to kind of... That's some cheap old purple. I think the, the whole box of 20 was like a dollar. So, let's do this. I don't know if we have time, but I'm going to go ahead and do this. Ah, 
right, well, I'll go ahead and do this here. Let's give this yellow a little more character, a little more depth. Let's do it in the old popular black. One thing black out about black outlines, especially if it's on a dark color, I mean a light color, it brings it out. See how dull that yellow look? Outline it with black. Man, it takes care of it. it makes it look good. I was going to turn on my timer. But I forgot. We have one of those Google we call it? Google Nest Max. And my son bought it for us. So we can visit with our granddaughter. It's kind of a neat concept. It, it moves around as you move around. So whoever's watching you can follow you to you know a certain point. So my little granddaughter, our little granddaughter, she gets up and gets around. But it's nothing like seeing her in person, which uh, we, we got to do it a few weeks ago while they were moving. But the problem is my wife works at a hospital, you know, where they got people in there with that thing, that disease. And they're kind of afraid for us to be around her. See how that black brings that yellow out? Do a little bit of this. I know I'm taking too much time. I said I'd try to keep this down to 10 minutes, but golly. Man, if y'all say think these are just too long, tell me. I'll do what I can to uh, slow it down. Should have had some silver there. I'm not saying that I will, but I'll try. And you guys, you guys can tell that I'm from uh, <clears throat> Texas. Yeah, I have that old Texas lingo, which right now seems to be the popular state. 